I've got these 3D printed parts for my next project and I thought it might be fun to try a little experiment. There's a few printing sort of um, artifacts. So you can see we have um, various seams and a bit of uh, ringing here from this area. So what I'm going to do is uh, sand one of these down. So that's the sanding done. Um, if you compare the one of the other ones with this one, it's a lot smoother. Uh, these layer lines, they're still fairly visible, but I've sanded them quite a bit. Now, my plan is to do a few coats of this um, surface primer before I start the next stage. So I'll do that quickly now outside with my respirator mask on. Um, let's see how that comes out. So it's kind of worked, but there are still some holes. So what I might try doing is um, filling these with some super glue. Then I'll do another coat and do a bit of sanding. I also touched it when it was still wet, which has uh, slightly damaged the surface. So let's do some more work. So after quite a bit of sanding and uh, multiple coats, we got some pretty good results. So uh, you can see the uh, defect here, completely gone. And the seam here is also completely gone. There are still some visible sort of layer lines, but um, not massively, and the top surface is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is give this another light sanding, and then we'll move on to the next phase of the operation, which will be to do a couple of layers of this silver conductive paint. So I'll get on with that. So it's come out reasonably well. There was a very strange interaction between the solvents in the silver paint and the undercoat I did. Um, but I got a reasonable result. I've given this a very light sanding. The surface is not quite as even as I was expecting, um, but it's worked. I did have some paint left over, so I took the other two um, bases and covered them as well. This one had enough paint for a good coat. It's not very even. The paint was starting to get quite thick as the solvents evaporated, um, so not quite the even coat I wanted. And then this last one, I was really running out of paint, so it was getting pretty uneven, but I've sanded it down quite a bit. Um, slightly went too far, so we've gone back to the actual plastic. Not ideal, um, but it is amazingly conductive. So if we bring in the multimeter, then um, do some measurements, then we're down to about 1.5 ohms, even from these two uh, side bits. It's quite impressive. So I think this might work quite well. I'm not sure what the finish will be like. But um, let's give it a go. I'm reluctant to do any aggressive sanding because I don't want to actually rub the coat off because uh, this paint is pretty expensive. So I'm just doing a quick recharge of my electroplating liquid. Uh, not sure what state it's in. Uh, it looks slightly cloudy, but um, hopefully it will be okay. Uh, I'm just putting a bit more nickel into the solution. So I've done a quick test of my nickel plating solution. So this is a UK 2P coin, which is normally a kind of um, copper slash brass, bronze. Actually, I'm not sure what a 2P is made of, but it's normally not this color. So um, that's come out really well. So my nickel solution definitely works. It's actually surprisingly shiny and good. So um, let's try out the actual 3D printed parts. So I'm trying the one that didn't get much of a coating and I'm starting off on quite a low voltage. Now I might turn the voltage up because we're not getting much current at the moment. So about 0 0.07 amps. So let's just bump that up so we get about half an amp flowing. Okay, so I can see bubbles coming off. And we've got half an amp flowing. So let's see if this actually coats. I'm just going to wiggle it around slightly to try and um, stop the bubbles from sticking to the surface. Just need to be careful not to uh, accidentally touch the other electrode. So I think as you can see this isn't really working very well. Um, I think what's happening is a lot of the bubbles are forming underneath the silver coating and that's pushing the silver coating away from the 3D printed surface. Uh, which is then making it very uneven. So mm, let's have a look at this once it's finished and I'll take it out and we can investigate. Okay, so in reverse order of success. 
So this is uh, one of the pieces. Um, I kind of stopped on this one because the uh, this is the one that didn't have a very good coating of the conductive paint and um, it kind of didn't really work. But you can see some traces of nickel plating. So you can see that there on the on the corners. So this one, not so good, but unsurprising. Now this next one had a slightly better coating of the conductive paint. Um, and we have got some nickel plating. So I think maybe the current on this might have been too high. Lots of the nickel started flaking off. Um, but uh, it's got some plating, not particularly brilliant, but you can see some bits where it's actually almost successful. And then we have the final one. So this is the piece that I did do the most prep work for, and it's actually come out not too bad. Um, you can see some bits around the edge where the silver paint did flake off, but we've actually got quite a decent coating of nickel. Now what is interesting is when I um, test the resistance of these bits, it is still pretty low, so we might be able to do some more coating. I think this may actually be coated with nickel. It's just a bit dull, but um, it's not a bad result. Um, could have done with a bit more prep work to smooth the surfaces out. Um, it's been quite an expensive experiment. The silver paint was not cheap, uh, but yeah, this this is kind of worked. Uh, I think I think this kind of thing looks very easy on YouTube videos surprisingly hard to do well in practice, but a fun experiment, so not bad.